this past Sunday in LA were the Grammys, Hollywood's biggest night for all things music. Our music reporter Alexa LaMalfa and pop culture reporter Lily Evans are here to tell us about the star-studded night. Hi Thanks guys. for having us. Thank Hi. you so much for being here. <laughs> so starting off with you Alexa, two of the biggest Grammy Awards were Song of the Year and Album of the Year, obviously. So who won and do you think that they were deserving of those awards? Absolutely. So Bonnie Raitt won with Just Like That, one Song of the Year, beating artists like Lizzo, Taylor Swift, Adele and Beyonce. Now everyone was stunned, even Raitt herself, when she accepted the award. Fans weren't the happiest online, but we got to remember the Grammys are determined by the Recording Academy, not by fans. But Harry Styles is Harry's. Um, Harry's House won Album of the Year, which I'm really excited. I love Harry Styles, but his acceptance speech did cause a little bit of controversy. You know, he said that this doesn't happen to people like him very often, and people were concerned what he meant by mm -hmm. that. So fans think that he, because he grew up in a lower income family, raised by a single mother, or just the fact that he's a trailblazer in breaking gender stereotypes, that's what he meant. But historically, Album of the Year does go to white male artists, so we're not really clear what he meant by that. Yeah, I can definitely understand that confusion. And now, Lily, over to you. What red carpet look really stood out to you? You know, any cool new trends we need to be aware of? Absolutely, Mia. So 2023 is the year of cool dresses and boys in sparkles. <laughs> and I just have to say, I'm so here for it. So many stunning dresses on the red carpet on Sunday. We had Adele, Cardi B, Ava Coker, whose dress I loved. It is that nude and white polka dot dress there. So flattering, so pretty on the carpet. Of course, we had Olivia Rodrigo. She had a black, sheer, more simple under stated dress but it was very much her vibe and it looked beautiful on stage and then of course I had to put in an honorable mention for Alexa Harry Styles <laughs> in that low-cut sparkly jumpsuit thing so cool so Harry Styles I was totally here for it and then MGK in it following a similar path there he had a little disco ball slash tin man inspired outfit going on but all I have to say is if it's good enough for Megan Fox it's good enough for me and I completely agree <laughs> so Alexa back to you the Grammy is obviously music's biggest night so can you tell me about some of the best performances that we saw this year absolutely Mia so Migos rapper Clavo paid tribute to his late nephew and former bandmate Takeoff by performing next to a solo microphone with Takeoff's chain which I thought was really touching but the biggest performance of the night was definitely the 50th hip-hop anniversary tribute that had a 23 song medley and had pioneers and legends of hip-hop performing but fun fact Will Smith was actually supposed to be the guest performer in this medley but you know due to scheduling conflicts he didn't make it to the ceremony I think it's because of the 2022 Oscars slap situation but if we got to talk about favorite performance mine's definitely as it was by Harry Styles you know there was a bit of a technical difficulty that we found out after the show but watching it back you would have never known Lovely. I mean, I didn't notice any technical difficulty there. So, Lily, who was honored at this year's memoriam ceremony? Yeah, so the in-memoriam ceremony is really beautiful, something that the Grammys does every year to honor those artists that have passed away in the year before. This year we had Loretta Lynn, Naomi Judd, Olivia Newton-John, Takeoff, Twitch, Irene Cara, and Hurricane G. Some standout performances for me would have to be Casey Musgraves for Loretta Lynn. I love Casey. I think she's one of the best female country artists in the industry, so to see her honor someone who really paved the path for people like her was really, really beautiful. And then we had Bonnie Raitt and Cheryl Crow joined Fleetwood Mac's Christine McVie with a performance of Songbird, which McVie wrote in for their 1977 album Rumors. So, you know, I love Fleetwood Mac and it is so, so sad to see one of their members pass away. But to see them get this beautiful tribute was very touching. And that's so important. So for my final question, I just need a real quick answer from you guys. <laughs> so obviously Beyonce did it again. Mm -hmm. And I want you to fill me in on how Queen Bee is doing it again. Let's start with you, Alexa, real quick. Just your take on Beyonce. Beyonce won the most Grammys in history with 32 awards. She broke all the records. Love that. You, Lily? She's the best. Her and hubby Jay-Z are tied for 88 nominations each, so now it's just a race to the finish line. But I'm rooting for Beyonce. <laughs> Guess for we're right. going to have to see who wins. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. On Peelers, lifestyle reporter McKenna Manise is joining us to talk about some black-owned beauty and fashion brands that should be on your radar every day, but especially during Black History Month. We'll be back in two minutes.